Everyone is talking about Flux these days. The new model from the German Black Forest Labs is all around. Since I am planning to do much more videos on Flux, I decided to give you a basic introduction into how you use Flux inside ConfUI. It's quite straightforward. The installation is quite simple. You only need to download the models, update your ConfUI and put all the models into the right places in your folder structure in your models folder and then you should be good to go i will link all the steps in the description below and all the models you need so after this video and studying the description you should be good to go i'm focusing on the flux dev model here and also the flux schnell model in this video there is also a pro model which is only accessible via the api and flux dev is only usable if you you don't use it for commercial generations. I think the Flux dev model gives much better results, but I'm not so deep into testing so far, so I will make a video on this in the future as well. The other downside of Flux is that you need a quite big GPU for it. There are some versions which use not as much VRAM as the dev and the schnell version, and there's also a version which combines everything in one single model like you are used to from stable diffusion i will do a video on this as well it's also not using as much vram as the schnell and the dev model so stay tuned for the next videos there will be much more flux content in the pipeline but for today i will give you a basic introduction on how to use flux in comfy ui there are some new and special notes i don't go into too much detail today but this will be covered in future videos as well let's start by clearing this workflow flow and start on the clean canvas so we need to load our model using the dev model for now then we need to pipe this in the model sampling flux note we keep the default value here so we need to pipe this into our load LoRa. In this case, I'm using the Flux Realism LoRa, which gives us even more realistic results. I really love the, the outcomes so far. We need the dual clip loader. I'm using the FP16 safe tensors with the clip L safe tensors and we have to define that we want to use it with flux. We need our prompt. I use the following cinematic photo of a woman with dry skin, futuristic sci-fi warrior armor and helmet. She's carrying a laser gun, fog in the background, LED lights, dystopian atmosphere. Pipe this into the flux guidance node. We keep the guidance to 3.5 here as well. The basic guider node is needed and we need to pipe in the LoRa output into this basic guider and the guider can be filled into the sampler custom advanced. We need a random noise node as well i like to put this to increment we need to select the sampler i keep the default euler sampler here as well we need some sigmas set this with the basic scheduler Let's use the simple settings, 20 steps, denoise to one. And we have to fill in some model information here. We choose the model information from the model sampling flux node. Be sure to don't use the LoRa output here. So we need a 
empty latent image. I choose 1024, 2024. And then we can convert this, decode this with a normal VAE decode node. We need the VAE loader. We choose the AE safe tensors. This is a special AE model you have to download. So let's pipe this to the safe image node. And let's try if this already works. So first time you use this workflow, it might take a little bit longer, but after that, it should go quite smooth. Here we go. I really like the result. You can quickly do the same with the Schnell model. Simply choose Schnell over here and give it a go. The results are really different, so I do another one. I will go into more detail how to use the Schnell and the Dev model in future videos. And I will also compare them in depth with each other and also with Midjourney, because Midjourney is the model which people want to compare the results with, because the results of Midjourney are really, really great, especially uh, in, in case of realism or fine art outputs photography. Let's switch back to Dev and generate another one. And you will see the result will be much more cinematic and nice. So this for now, showing how to quickly use this Flux uh, model, this new Flux model in your Comfy UI. There will be more videos on more special versions of Flux in the future. I will also do videos on Flux and how you use it for upscaling and other purposes and in other workflows. So stay tuned. I will upload this workflow to my Patreon page. Hope you liked it. And I hope to see you again soon in the next video. Goodbye and thank you.